Hey guys, welcome back. So, uh, got an update. I got a truck. You guys heard me talking about it. We've been uh, vehicle shopping for a while. And so I went ahead and got this Tundra. So we're pretty excited about it. That's not the only update for today too. We also have a pair of Patagonian cavies being surrendered to the rescue today, which if you don't know what that is, it is a very interesting little creature. Uh, you're gonna see what they are in a minute, but um, I'm not even gonna try to describe it. But uh, yeah, so we just went and picked up hay in the new truck. Awesome to use a truck to get the hay instead of cramming it in the back of a car. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get them set up for a temporary. Watch out, Clovey. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and set up uh, hay in the temporary enclosure for the cabbies. Um, that's where we actually had Lola when we first got her too. And then we're gonna be building up a big enclosure for them. We just obviously haven't got a chance to do that yet. The struggle with the, the cabbies is that they chew, they dig, they can jump like five feet. So we're gonna have to do like a chain link enclosure. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot. All right, so we just got the cabbies. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. All right, so those are the cavies. So it's kind of like a like a capybara on stilt legs or a giant guinea pig. They are really cool. Little bobtails. That's so strange. Yeah, we got a little weird tail. This is gonna be little sounds. Look at that little weird tail. Sniffing clover. They are such strange little animals. Look at it licking itself. So Almost cute. like a rabbit. That is so strange. So these beautiful animals were donated to us by the um, Moorcroft Conservation Foundation. They were downsizing and just wanted a really good home for these guys. So we are honored to be considered <laughs> uh they need names he had names for them but he said they don't know their names and so that we could name them so i always love naming animals especially like picking cute names <laughs> so we definitely need some name suggestions all right so now i'm finally making it over to the pigs and the goats sorry guys breakfast was late we had some guests this morning look at them petunia so that, talking about aggressive behavior, that right there, that uh, rubbing, chomping, all that stuff. Oh, Petunia, oof, and I'm pushing at me. You're always so pushy and chompy. You bad pig, you bad pig. See the mohawks up? You hawking, you mohawking. Oh, see that? See that, that sidewaysness? So that's all, that's all aggressive aggressive but i know like not gonna actually like charge me anything right now but um although that has happened several times but right now petunia still like wants food kind of wants some social interaction mainly just wants food kind of wants to fight come here petunia oh petunia come here come here oh this pig this big pig you're not being that bad you're not being that bad let me zoom out. There we go. Belly scratch. Oh, that's the secret weapon. Butt scratches. There you go, Petunia. There's a good pig. Julie! Come here, Julie! She's coming. Come here, Julie! Oh. Hi, Julie.
little bit cloudy. Still a very pretty day. All right, so now we're ready to feed everybody. Uh, the back of the cart is still a complete mess from moving all the dirt and everything for the prairie dogs. But over here, we've got the kawadi bowls right here. We've got the hornbill, or the toucan, and then the hornbills. And then this is for asami. And then this is for the uh, budgies and cockatiels. And then we've got the foxes. And then we've got the uh, prairie dogs right here. Okay, 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 foxes. That's why you're being separated, Hazel. Bad girl. All right, so let's feed these crazy foxes. That one there. That one there. Oh my gosh. Okay, here, you can have that in there. There you go, stay in there. The feral little creature. It's all Hazel being nuts. It's okay. So even though Kira and Yue uh, get along really well, Hazel definitely gets them going too. So as soon as uh, we get this enclosure finished up, and uh, I think they're gonna be a lot happier together because all that high energy craziness, you know? Oof. You got your own bowl, Kira. Take a hint. Kira. There you go, Asami. Oh, we got lots of options today. She's got some canned pumpkin, watermelon, sprouts, green beans, applesauce, pepper, and what is that? Freeze dried turkey. Oh, we like the watermelon, huh? Yeah. There you go.
All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and feed the coatis, put them in their lockouts, and then clean everything. So they like to take the chicken and just roll it in sand. It's a really weird thing. Don't know why they like that. And then there's lots of sand in their poop. And Lily will get you. Hi, Jelly Bean. Here you go. Eating your blueberries, like a boy. You got blueberries and peach and watermelon and your pellets. You put the pellets in a separate dish so they don't get soggy. You go, big guy. Hi, Clo. Oh, hi, baby. Hi, Clo, Clo. Oh, look at this good girl. Hi, baby. Hi, Clo. What a happy dance. You happy girl. Hi, Clo, Clo. What a good girl. What a happy dance. Oh, this good girl. Oh, this good girl. Come here. There you go. Come get some food. All right, so now we're here feeding the prairie dogs. Here's Mr. Poppy. Hi, Poppy. Oh, trying to climb up me. No climbing, sir. Here, I got food for you. Here. Oh, and he's going <laughs> fully inside my boot. <laughs> we There's Big Harv, grabbing some hay, Harv. Poppy, why are you so crazy? I have to sit here and pet Poppy, where he won't stop jumping on me. Who's that one? That's Cheeky. Cheeky? She's the smallest and most vicious. <laughs> like you. Poppy's pretty mean too. Poppy's not. Like if you try to ch like pet her, she'll bite you. No. Yeah. The cocoa's nice, but she's underground right now. Eat some food, Poppy. You don't need to be attached to me. Eat some food. All right, so now I'm in here with the uh, cockatiels and budgies. Hi, Candy. There's candy on my head and tango on my shoulder. Hi guys. What are we doing, huh? You can see all the parakeets behind me going crazy. Hi. These are the two friendly ones. As soon as I come in here, they immediately fly into me. You guys are very sweet. You're very sweet. You're very cute. As far as the budgies go, you can't touch any of them. <laughs> yeah, they don't let you get anywhere near them. But they're happy flying around.